some really uh so what skills do you think a data engineer should possess in order to move forward in the career when they already have two to three years of experience in sql python aws well these are the uh, that's a very very good point right so these are great points i'm currently uh, in my academy i'm currently working on a fundamentals course and i already, already uh, also told this kate yesterday so the, for me the basics are like coding python something a sql database a relational database these uh, and computer networking these are these are the base the bare minimum basics you need that's that's what you need to have and uh, you can move on forward there then when you think about uh, creating um, creating real world uh, uh, or creating projects real world that that similar or that 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 solve real world problems like in in the coaching we had uh, i have a one student who is who who says okay uh, i have the yelp data set and i i want to learn i want to move forward and i want to uh, get into the into data engineering let's use the yelp data set to actually um, figure out which which uh, which businesses would make sense to uh, to loan money to and so then you go and you use your your current aws skills and you try to build a platform try to try to, what do you need how do you get the data in what are the processing steps how do you store it how uh, what type of analytics do you pop on top of it and how can you solve these problems that's something that will bring you forward it's it's going out of this of this of this fundamentals and venturing out into into actually solving these these problems that could not be solved uh, without these these typical things. That's always that's also how I that's also how I got into data science into big data at the time. I, I had a problem that would make that would have made no sense to do with the with the relational database, and that's how this how this involved for me. Apart from SQL Python, what should uh, we be an expertise or expert in? As I said, um, <clears throat> the, well, it's it's endless. Like um, computer networking, like understand how the data flows, understand uh, ports, understand the the OC model, basically how how the how the data is flowing, security stuff. I, I'm I'm it's it's think about Linux. You need to have some Linux experience, at least some simple Linux experience that you that you understand which are the important folders, how to mount drives, how how is the um, the admin no, not the administration the the user groups and the security stuff. How does that work within uh, within? Linux the uh, and also development when you think about agile development nowadays everybody does agile development that's the stuff that you need and that's what I'm currently working on because so I, I I really like that that thing and everything you can learn there is for free you you it's absolutely no no problem you you find you find a re, uh, resources for free on the internet you just need to know what to, what to learn and that's yeah, Faisal, that's the hard part.